I should have control to have control. I am using one rectifier and one inverter. The rectifier converts AC fixed AC into variable DC. Rectifier converts fixed AC into variable DC. So reactor power control I get with rectifier. This converter one is capable of giving me reactor reactor power control by varying the firing angle. I can vary the voltage. By varying this voltage, I can vary the rejected voltage. Therefore, receiving a power, reactive power can be altered. Reactive power is sensitive to voltage. Real power is sensitive to delta. So, I want to play with delta. How to play with delta? I will change the firing angle of the inverter. If I change the firing angle of the inverter, the injected angle will be changed. Uh, 
um, battery operated car or electric train. So when, when the train is uh, um, traveling in the hill region, when, when you are going uh, up the hill, it has to act as a motor. Power will flow from source to the motor. When the train is going over the downhill, the power will be returned to the <coughs> source. So your converter should be capable of that. When it is acting as motor, power will flow in forward direction. When it is acting as generator, power will flow in reverse direction. That is called DC bidirectional converter. This is called AC bidirectional converter, which will allow power to flow from line 1 to line 2 or line 2 to line. So if you are doing simulation uh, using some package, you need model. Model means equivalent set. So modeling, modeling your uh, system. In uh, USA, there was a district with eight substations, so they called that as eight plus system. There was a state with thirty substations, they called that as thirty bus system. Then uh, there was a region with sixty-four uh, substations, then they called that as sixty-four bus system. So in papers, uh, you find I to be eight bus system, I to be thirty bus system. I to be 64 buses. So you should think uh, uh, that it is not Greek and Latin, it is some district, maybe some state, then some, uh, you know, some country, small country where there are 64, uh, uh, 64 buses. So this is a standard technology which came from the original papers where they published results for 30 bus system, 64 bus system. So here it is a 4 bus system is modeled. So in modeling, uh, if you have short lines, you just represent them, each line you represent as R and L in series. You have studied in transmission and distribution. When you are doing simulation, you have to model your power system into an equivalent circuit. Your line is represented as R and L in series. Your generator is represented as RLE, generator resistance, generator reactance and EMF of the generator. If your load is RL load, get that R and L. How to get R and L of the load? P is B squared by R. Power rate, real power rating is given, voltage rating is given, calculate R. Q is Q of the induction motor is given. Q of the induction motor, you know rated voltage, you know. So Q is B squared by X. So from the real power data, you can calculate the internal resistance of the load. From the reactive power data, you can calculate the reactance of the load. That is load modeling. So if you know models for all the things, then you can draw the circuit. Generator, then your uh, transformer, then half of the impedance, half of the impedance here, load impedance like this. So, this is a simple circuit of IPFC neglecting uh, resistance. And then uh, UPQC, unified uh, power quality additional. UPQC is a combination of DVR and active. If you combine DVR and active filter, it is UPQC. You know DVR improves voltage and active filter supplies harmonics. So in general in the load, uh, you have three phase loads, you have three phase induction motor load or three phase synchronous motor load. We normally don't bother about third harmonic, but we bother about fifth. Third harmonic, if you see the theory, third harmonic current you get uh, in phase, or third harmonic voltage is in phase. VA3 is Vm sin 3 omega t, VB3 is Vm sin 3 omega t, VC3 also Vm sin 3 omega t. For fundamental components, you have phase shift, but for third harmonics, you don't have phase shift. So in a delta connected uh, induction motor or delta connected synchronous motor, the harmonic will be circulating within the delta and 3 omega t, V phase also I F3 sin 3 omega t, current through the line is 0. This a third harmonic is dead snake. Part of harmonics. The third harmonic. 
harmonic, uh, if you see delta, that third harmonic is circulating within the delta, then uh, through the lines it is zero. If it is star, if I apply HR's voltage down, then uh, I want uh, what is the third harmonic in the line? Third harmonic in the lines, if I apply KV of V3 sin 3 omega t minus V3 sin 3 omega t, it is zero. I have two equals.